in the state of Israel's darkest moment, you stood up and declared, Hineni, I am here. We are here. There is no greater and more just cause than this. Today, we come together as a family, one big mishpacha, to march for Israel. To march for the babies, the boys and girls, women and men, viciously held hostage by Hamas. To march for the right of every Jew to live proudly and safely in America, in Israel, and all around the world. Above all, we come together to march for good over evil, for human morality over bloodthirst. We march for light over darkness. Eighty years ago, Jews came out of Auschwitz and vowed never again as the blue and white flag was hoisted over our ancient homeland. We vowed never again. Forty days ago, a terrorist army invaded the sovereign state of Israel and butchered hundreds upon hundreds of Israelis in the largest massacre since the Holocaust. Let us cry out together, never again, never again, never again is now. The Hamas savagery and crimes against humanity bring to my mind, as President Biden has said, the worst rampages of ISIS. We, the people of Israel, are grateful to President Biden, his administration, and so many members of Congress on both sides of the aisle. The moral clarity and bold actions of our American allies demonstrate the depth of the U.S.-Israel alliance which is stronger than ever before. Since October 7th, Israeli society and the Jewish people have truly come together in unison. We feel our hearts beat as one. We hear our brothers and sisters' blood crying out to us from the ground, called me'achikha. Once again in Jewish history, we demand, let our people go. Whilst our loved ones are held captive in Gaza and our soldiers are fighting for our beloved Israel, Jews all over the world are assaulted for being Jewish. The hatred the lies, the brutality, the disgraceful outbursts of ancient anti-Semitism are an embarrassment to all civilized people and nations. Jews in America must be safe. Jews all over the world must be safe. I salute you, the women and men who stand up to massive hatred and pressure in the community or on campus. Just as you stand with us, we stand with you. Dear brothers and sisters, dear friends, as president of the state of Israel, Medinat Israel, I vow to you from Jerusalem, from the Kotel, that we will heal we will rise again, and we will rebuild. To paraphrase the prophet Zechariah, boys and girls shall once again play in the streets of Be'eri and Sderot, and the elderly shall sit peacefully by the walkways of Nachal Oz and Ofakim. 
And when the sounds of life and laughter return to the villages, the kibbutzim and the cities, our constant yearning for peace will return as well. Together, together we pray for the safe return of our hostages. Together, we pray for the full recovery of the wounded. And together we pray for our beloved sons and daughters in the IDF. May God bless them and keep them. HaKadosh Baruch Hu Yishmor V'yatzil Et Chayaleinu. Together we grieve and together we shall overcome. Am Yisrael Chai. God bless Israel. God bless America.